Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I'm in the Water East Store in the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how much water a reverse osmosis system wastes. Well, in actual fact, it doesn't waste any water. It uses water to purify the water. If you're not sure how a reverse osmosis system works, check out this video of mine and uh, it'll explain the whole process. So much like washing dishes, washing laundry, um, washing a car, those, that's not wasting water, that's using water. But let's figure out exactly how much it was. For years in the industry, we heard three gallons for every gallon of drinking water was going to the drain. We heard one to one ratio. We heard nine to one. It was all over the map. So I did an experiment. I grabbed our Goldline 50 reverse osmosis system here, very popular system, and I, I connected it all up and I filled the tank, which is up here, and, uh, and then I shut off the water. So I took the water from that tank, put it in this jug just to see exactly how much water it produced, and it was about two and a half gallons. Then I turned the water back on, but the drain line, instead of connecting it to the drain, I ran it into these other water jugs just to see how much water would be running to drain before it filled up the tank and shut off again. So it filled one, two, three jugs of water. So it took 15 gallons of water went to the drain to produce two and a half gallons of drinking water. So then I grabbed this um, Water Saver 75 high efficiency um, reverse osmosis system because I wanted to see um, what the difference would be. So I did the exact same experiment. Again, I ran, it, uh, uh, ran the water to fill up the tank and no big surprise, it produced pretty much the same amount of water, two and a half gallons. And then I connected the drain line to these jugs over here to see how much water it would take before the system shut off. So it took six gallons of water. So for two and a half gallons of drinking water, it took six gallons of water to produce that. One of the really interesting things though is the mineral content. The mineral content of the water we were starting with was th uh, TDS of 300 and about, three, about 320 uh, parts per million. With the Gold Line 50 system, the TDS came out at 24 parts per million. With the Water Saver 75 high efficiency, reverse osmosis drinking water system, it came in 11. So not only does it use a whole lot less water, the water it produces is pure. So the Water Saver 75 produced pure water with half as much waste. If you're looking for discount pricing on any kind of reverse osmosis system, especially the Water Saver 75 high efficiency reverse osmosis drinking water system, you can click this link up here, take you right to our e-commerce site. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos that become available on our channel. If you'd like some more information, you can go to our website, either thewaterestore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.